Well, as you may know, the Liberty softball program is led by the legendary Dot Richardson. During her playing career, she was one of the game's all-time great shortstops, so she knows how important it is to have a solid player at that position. And in Mickey Loveridge, she believes she's found the shortstop she's been looking for. Alan York has her story. The story of Liberty Flame softball shortstop Mickey Loveridge cannot be summed up in a few words. There are many qualities that make up who Loveridge is and how she arrived at Liberty. The junior transfer grew up outside the Bay Area in Concord, California, and in a less than ideal situation. Yeah, I grew up in a really rough neighborhood, a lot of gang violence, um, a lot of drug, alcohol abuse. Um, I think I've seen a lot more than a lot of people have had the opportunity to. And when I say opportunity, I mean that I love the way I grew up because I experienced so much. And I think that's something that's very important to us as Christians. Mickey's love affair with softball began when she was three years old and it didn't take long for her to realize she was really good at it. I started when I was three um, at a place called JOBL in Concord, California. Um, started playing travel when I was about 10. I was like that younger but could play with the older group, so I was always like with the older team, so I got to play longer. Leverage was a three-time all-league performer at Concord High School, including capturing the league MVP as a senior. Her next stop was a two-year stay at Sacramento City College, where she was a junior college All-American. Not sure of where she would continue her softball career, Liberty came calling. A friend of mine who I knew in Florida, who's now uh, in California, he, I was talking to him and I said, you know, just you know, looking for a shortstop. And he goes, I think there's one around here. And a friend, another acquaintance of mine is the coach of uh, Sacramento City. And I'd played against him. I mean, he was coaching a team, you know, that played against the national team. And he had a shortstop that was looking for a place to go. What followed was a phone call and the start of a budding relationship between Loveridge and the school she would call home. And she's like talking to me and she's like, we're the biggest Christian school. And already I was like, okay, Christian school, here we go. And then she just started talking about like the new facility and everything about Liberty. And she um, paused and I said, I'm sorry, is this Dot Richardson? And I was just in shock. And she's like, yes, we need a shortstop. And I was like, I remember just like tears in my eyes and I was like, this is seriously a dream come true. In only a short time on campus, Loveridge has proven she's got the intangibles coaches admire in their student athletes. Some other things I was ready to call a timeout to walk out to settle down our pitcher. And Mickey called everybody in herself uh, on her own accord. So that's a leadership quality that you want in your players. And she's demonstrated that a number of ways. She's worked herself back up to the lineup. She hits fourth. She is one of our top leaders, I think the leader for um, RBI production as well, so she's really doing a great job. Softball is an escape for Loveridge, who has experienced so much as a young adult and uses the game she loves as a tool to encourage those around her. I think the whole mentality of it um, really interests me because I just think if we applied it to life, the whole mentality of softball, of baseball, of football, of whatever, you get down, your teammates pick you back up in life, you get down other people pick you back up, Christians pick you back up, they're right there for you, come on, you got it, the next one, keep going, keep going. So I think the message that sports represent, um, I think is just, it's awesome to me. For Game On, I'm Alan York.